Hello, everybody, and welcome to step five of the research project. It's great to be back with you. Before we dive into the directions for step five, I wanted to take a moment and address a couple of concerns that I've noticed from some of the boys and girls in the class. Now, as you know, each day on the research project, you have a different step to work on. And that always begins with a video to watch where you can see the instructions and really get a good idea of how to complete that step. Some students have made the complaint that these videos are boring or cringy or why does Mr. Person put them on YouTube? And all I have to say in regard to those complaints is that haters gonna hate. I mean, look at this picture. We have an adorable panda riding on one of those rocking horses that you find at a playground and it's just so cool. How can you not love it? That's how I feel about my videos. They're so cool. How could you not love them? I mean, it's World Regional Studies, it's Mr. Person, and it's research. It's like the greatest trifecta of all time. Returning to the topic. First thing you're going to do is click on the link here for gathering sources and go ahead and open that in a new tab. This is a Google Doc that's going to give you a written uh, explanation of everything I'm going to go over in the video. So it's a good thing for you to have and I do recommend that you put a copy of this in your research folder. To do that again remember that you want to go over to file, make a copy, and then you want to place it in your research folder. So you have to find it on your Google Drive and if I look for it, here's mine, Greg Person Research 2019, and select. And now it's going to be saved in there for me. Okay, let's read through it together. To find sources for your research project, you are going to use an online database called Gale. Follow the steps below to gather your sources. To start with, click on the link, which will bring you to Gale. It's really important that you use this link and you don't just do a Google search for Gale. The reason is that our school actually has to pay a subscription fee to use Gale, so we have our own website or URL for it. Other schools have different websites and URLs, so if you just search Gale on Google, it won't bring you to this specific one. So I'll open it up. Now we have here a list of the different databases you can search on. The first source that I gave you already was from Kids Info Bits, and you might use that again to find your second and third sources, but there are some other options available to you. If we go back to the directions, you can see that I've given you four that you might want to investigate, and they're color-coded, which shows the, the general difficulty or reading level of the articles that you find there. So Kids Info Bits is green because those have the easiest or lowest reading levels. Biography and context and research and context are great, and those are highlighted yellow because they're um, somewhere in the middle. And then world history context in context is red because those are the most difficult or challenging articles. Okay, Now, biography and context you would only use if your topic is about a specific individual, and some of you do have topics about a specific person. But if yours is about just an event in general, then you wouldn't go to that one. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use the Research and Context database to find my second article. I click on the link, and of course I have to put in the password. If you've forgotten it, it is new underscore log. Mine's already loaded in for me. And sign in. Once you've signed in, let's look at the directions. Click on the tab that says Sign in with Google at the top of the page. Type in your correct Google account, username, and password. Click the button that says Allow. You should have already given that allowance if you followed uh, step three, but if you did not, you'll have to do that. So sign in with Google, and now I'm signed in there. Great. What do I do next? Type your search terms into the search bar and hit enter. Okay. For these articles, second and third articles, you're looking not just at your topic, but trying to find answers to the research question that you created in step four. So... Let's say, as an example, my topic is Chico Mendez, and I want to know for my research question, why did Chico Mendez protect the Amazon rainforest? That's my question. So I can search for him and see what comes up and see if I can find some answers to that question. So there are different types of results that pop up here. You see over here where it says content types. Those are explained on the instruction sheet. 
You have reference articles, biographies if it's about a specific person, images or videos, audio recordings, magazines, news, and primary sources. I really like to use the magazines. I find that they give more interesting articles. Um, so let's click on that and there are 10 results. And you can see the different articles here and their titles and these are color coded as well. So yellow is intermediate. And how about I use this one here, Into the Amazon, Chico Mendez and the Struggle for the Rainforest. That sounds like it would help me understand my research question. So I'll open it up. When I go through this time and highlight, I'm going to highlight information that specifically helps me answer the research question. Okay. So let's start reading. In the weeks before his murder in December 1988, Chico Mendez spoke tirelessly about the disappearing jungle. Mendez, leader of a local in Brazil's Rubber Tappers Union, was a forceful and high-profile advocate of preserving the Amazon rainforest from an omnivorous army of land-hungry peasants, cattle ranchers, miners, and prospectors. Those are the people who were trying to destroy the forest. The rubber tappers need a living forest in order to ply their trade, a situation that puts them in direct opposition to Brazil's political elite, whose policies they blame for the destruction each year of an area, according to some estimates, as big as that of New Brunswick, which is a city in New Jersey. So this sentence here is what I'm going to highlight because it really gives me a good understanding of why he decided to protect the forest. He was a rubber tapper and the rubber tappers need a living forest in order to apply their trade in order to work. So I'm going to highlight that, go with yellow and for my notes I'll say Chico Mendez was a rubber tapper and relied on a protected rainforest in order to do his job and then save. What I would do now is continue to go through the article and highlight any information that helps me answer my research question. Once I'm done, remember that you need to send to Google Drive and click OK. Now this time I used research in context. So in my Google Drive, there should be a research in context folder that has popped up. Let's see. Maybe I need to refresh my drive here. Okay, scroll down. Hmm. It, uh, oh, there it is. Research in context. Found it. So I'm going to take that folder and I'm going to click it and drag it into my Research 2019 folder. That way it becomes shared with me and I can find it. So now when I open it up, I have Kids Info Bits and I have Research in Context. And again, I'm just going to check to make sure that it saved my highlights and my notes. So I open it up in here. There's the one highlight that I made as an example. Yours will obviously have more highlights, about one per paragraph is what we're looking for. And scroll to the bottom, I've got the highlighted text and the notes to go along with it. Excellent. So for this step, remember that you're finding your second and third articles. So it's important that you follow these directions essentially twice. You're looking for two articles. You're going to highlight and take notes on any details that help you answer your research question. And then you're going to save them in your Google Drive and make sure that they show up in your Research 2019 folder. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let's get started on step number five. And if you have any questions, remember just to raise your hand and call me over. I'll be coming around to help.